and those also mates you are watching my youtube channel mrb's global fashion my name is city line here i want to introduce to you how to cut standing neck blazer this one i've uh, taught them in my previous video how to cut suit for my blazer so the things to consider first your normal basic bodies which have drew the line already this is my shoulder this is my breast point and this is my waist and this is my my length and the sewing allowance so the what you have to consider in this blazer for especially for the back remember the back is having snoopy inside at the back the back went in smoke so you have to consider that so by for that we have to remove uh, we have to remove 0.75 some can remove 0.5 but my own i like to remove 0.7 for the blazer to stand well on my body so this is what i draw i went in from 0.7 draw it down then from the waist down to the length and from the waist down to the shoulder side now i have brought out my sewing allowance which is half inch so now i want to cut out the shape for this uh, back so that you so this is it. So this is my sewing allowance. The reason why I like to add my sewing allowance to the back uh, pattern is because I don't want to forget it. Because if I said I will add it here, I may not remember to add it. And it will affect my shoulder. So that's why I drew the... So now anything I want to measure will start from this line. That is after this sewing allowance. So I want you to pay attention to this. This is my shoulder. My shoulder is uh, 16, uh, 15 divided by 2, that is 7.5. Then I added 0.5, giving me 8. I mark my 8 and you go in by 1. You go in by 1. Then my neckline is 3, 3 by 1. So I will use my French cuff to bring out this shape for the back this is three from here three by one then i will go in for my shoulder slope by one inch this is the one inch that i drew so now to measure my my arm o is 7.5 so this is 7.5 then you measure your shoulder so that it can tally with uh, this it you connect it to your shoulder points this is our arm o So this is our arm o. So now you have to get the, you have to measure the, the measurement of the arm o from the slanty of your slope of the shoulder, which is 7.5. 7.5 divided by 2, it will give you 33 quarter. Then you go in by half. You bring it out with your French cuff. Remember your French cuff has to touch the middle of the arm o, touch the where the one inch stop and also the line, the line. So now we have to measure our that point which is nipple to nipple. So that point I'm working with is four. You measure that four at the waist. You measure it at the breast point. This is it. And you measure it at the hip point and the sewing 
point. So you connect these three lines together. You connect these lines together. You can see it's already bringing out shape. One thing I want you to know that you will, when you observe this line, you will see that at this waist side, it's it went in just like the way the back went in. So now we will measure our circumference of the body. We will measure the circumference of the body. The circumference for my for the breast and uh, the bust point I'm working with is 38. You divide that 38 with you divide it by four. It will give you 9.5. That 9.5 you chalk it. This is the 9.5, you chalk it, then you will add two inch to it. This is the two inch. Then you come down to the waist. The waist is 36, you divide it by, you divide the waist to 36. That is the 36, you divide it by four, it will give you nine. That's the nine I'm chalking here. Then here you have to add 2.5 2.5 I will tell you reason why I'm adding that 2.5 when you come down to the hip line here the hip I'm working with is 10 and 41 which is you divide it by 4 it will give you 10 and quarter so you mark that 10 and quarter then you add 2 inches to this this is the 2 inch you're working with so now you connect those lines we are talking about this is the this is the body measurement and this is the allowance for sewing This is our pattern. So remember, I had the two and a half here, two inches here for the hip line, then the bust line I had it two. So now we have to remove the half inch from the half from the waist line, you remove. Your dots, you cut out this one. You remove from here four inch. Then from the waist up, you remove five. This is it. You remove five. So you mark it. So this one we are cutting it out. That is why the we are adding a. Uh, 2.5 to the waist so by the time you had you cut it out it will bring out the shape now we have to connect remember you have to connect this breast point to the arm hole so this is the middle of the arm hole you draw it upward by 1.5 or 2 inches by 1.5 or 2 inches. That means you have to reshape your arm hole. You have to reshape your arm hole. You can see this is another arm hole that have. you have reshaped your arm. Why are we doing it like that? If you did not have this 1.5, by the time you cut, you join this princess that back, this side will be sh will be short to the main body. So that that's why we are adding this extra allowance and that's why the arm hook is changing so then you come down here by this and uh, down of the blouse to remove one and cutter one and cutter you have to remove it so that it will bring out the sharpness of that this one and cutter you use a french curve to bring down that one this is how it will look so after you have shaped it, this is how your back pattern will look like for our standing neck. This is how it will look like. So I will now cut. 
Okay, so this is my back pattern. So we are done with this. So I want to draft, let's leave this one aside. We are drafting the, we are drafting the front pattern. This front pattern, this is my shoulder line. This is my bust line. This is my waistline and this is my hip line and this is the hemming line. So now, first thing we have to consider is just to bring out our shoulder again. Remember I told you that the shoulder I'm working with is 15 divided by 2. It gives me 7.5. That 7.5 you had sewing allowance of half inch which will make it to be 8. This is the 8. Then remember you have to go in by 1.5 for the front pattern. For the front pattern you have to go in by 1.5. Then remember I use the neckline I used for the back pattern was 3 by 1. So this one you will use 3. 3 by whatever neck line you want. This one depend on the choice of individual so but my own i will use six i will use six so this is my six so then i will use six so now let me chalk my the slope of my shoulder to the three to the line up to the where the neckline stop this is it and this tie i want to use a sweet ass neck so this is you know i want to use a like sweet ass neck I don't want it to be deep. If you want it wider than this, you can use this. So now, so let's come down to the ammo. The ammo I'm working with is seven for the front. Remember the back one is seven point five because of the slanting of one inch. So you measure your eight here again to tally with the line we are working with before this is my head this is the arm line and the shoulder line so you connect base to your shoulder then you get the middle of the arm line which is 3.5 then you, you come in by 0 0.75 0 0.75 this is 0 0.75 that is three three quarter then we have to use our French cuff to bring out the shape. Remember when you are using the French cuff, it brings out the cuff very well. Then let your let your French cuff touch the middle of the arm o and touch this line and also touch the line where your slopey stop. So this is how it will be. So this is our ammo for the front. So now we have to get our that princess that uh, line and for us to get that uh, princess that line we have to use our nipple to nipple. Nipple to nipple is 7.5 plus half inch it will give you 4. So this is my 4 you can chop it you chop it at the hip line down here then you chop it at the breast point line here then you connect you connect so you can see the connection that i'm doing so remember that we are very pleased to send that. So you have to connect this to your middle of the arm O. And this is it. Look at the way I'm connecting it. Remember that this arm O 
we have to go in by two and then go out by two if not if you stop it here when you want to join the princess it will be very short so this is the additional thing that we are adding to it that means you have to reshape your arm hole. when you reshape the arm hole, it will form like this it will form like this you have to do it so that it won't bring confusion to you so this you have set and this sharpness there you have to use a french cup to erase it there must not be sharpness in any princess we are cutting so now we have to measure the circumference of our body measurement here i'm working with bus 38 and i divide it by four it gives me 9.5 9.5 is what i'm chopping see it here 9.5 then you have to add one inch for sewing and one inch to join this princess back so i'm adding one inch another one inch for sewing allowance so this has to be then you come down to the waist line so the waistline that i'm working with here is uh, 36 divided by four it will give you it will give me nine that's the nine i marked here then remember we have to add 2.5 to the to the waist i will explain that later when i get it so one inch for sewing one inch for the joining of this uh, princess that then the remaining half inch that is left there we are cutting it out so i will explain it later and then you come down to the hip lay, line the hip we are working with is 41 divided by 4 it gives us 10 and quarter that 10 and quarter you will have 2 you know we added 2 for both you had 2 also for you will add 2 also for the hip so you connect this line together this, are, this is the main measurement. This is the main measurement then that I'm connecting. And this is the allowance we are adding to it. So the other ones I'm adding to it. So when you look at the pattern, our pattern is ready. So this is the breast point. This is the waist, and this is the hip, and this is the sewing allowance. So this is the allowance we are adding to the. Remember, I added 2.5 here. We have to remove half at that waist, and you will now measure from the waist. You measure that that half inch to 0.4 you stop at this four that is from the waist down four then from the waist up you measure five you measure five that's what you will remove so this one we are cutting this out we are cutting this one out so this is how our pattern will look. Then remember that the, the front pattern is having button allowance. This one inch that is there or one and quarter, it depends on how you can sew. Because some, if you say sew half, they will sew to the cutter. So if you know it is like that, just put one and quarter, one and a half there. This is my own button allowance, which I use one inch. One inch. Then now, for the standing collar, for the standing collar, from the measurement here, you measure 3.5 up. This is 3.5. You measure 3.5 up. So you draw this line straight.
straight down up like this. This is where your line stop. This is the style that they call standing neck. So you will now add 2.5. You can use two if you know that your sewing is okay. This is 2.5. So you can see that the neck I chop, it will change. So this is how it will now come. This is how the neck will now come. So this is our standing neck. This one represents the standing neck. This is the one that you will now use to connect with the back. So that's why it's called standing neck. The difference is just you go up by 3.5. Here is 3. From here is 3.5. I mean, this one is 2. From here to this place is 2.5. While from here is 3.5 inch. So this one is 2.5 inch. This one is 2.5. That is the gap between here and here is 2.5. While the gap here from here up is 3. Point five. So this is how our standing neck is be and let me now cut it out. So this is how our pattern will look. This is how our pattern standing corner will look. So remain the back. So we have to cut out the back. So this is our back pattern. So that to cut it out. And I forgot to explain something for this front part. Remember this the sharpness at this side, we have to remove it. We have to remove it. I didn't remember to mention it for the front part. So this is it, I have to remove it. We don't need this one. So this is how it will look. Then the back pattern is what I want to cut out now. Because you did the sharpening for the back look out the look. So this is the pattern. This is how your back will look like after cutting it. This is how your back will look like. And this is how your front will look like. This is the breast point. This is the waist. And this is the hip line. So this is center back. This is our center front. From that side. You have to leave it like you need to indicate side back. Here are your places. So after you have done this, you will now transfer this to your fabric. I hope that if this uh, video is helpful, try to subscribe, like and comment. Thanks for watching Emma Global.